among other things, introducing the, the showcase that will follow. All right, is this on? Can everybody hear me? So I wanna talk about the uh, event that we're gonna have out in the lobby here where we have a bunch of very interesting demos for people to look at and you can talk with the folks who uh, put them together. Find out a lot about what's going on at UVA and some of our partners and uh, we'll come back after the um, session and talk about what we've seen. Go ahead. How do I advance this? This guy, I guess. Okay, so this is a map of the uh, area just outside here, but I think the notion is just sort of circulate around the walls and you'll run into all the different demo stations. So this uh, is gonna be just a little foreshadowing of what you're gonna see. So we have a population health stand. It's actually divided into two separate demos. Uh, where we're going to be looking at how we try and communicate what's happening with patients outside of our facility that we know through the, our ACO's claims, how we're looking at spend and trying to understand where the money is going, and then uh, most importantly, risk. How do we stratify the population in different ways for care coordination and a special focus on 30-day uh, readmission? There'll be a separate uh, demo around that. Another station that'll really talk about UVA's journey in becoming a data-driven organization, our decision to uh, really go into the lean methodology meant that we needed information uh, to work on, and so we have a number of different rhythms going on in the system, from a daily rhythm of focusing on uh, wasteful behavior, to a monthly rhythm of looking at a balanced scorecard that tries to uh, balance between clinical care and um, finance and employee engagement and patient satisfaction, and then trying to drill down from system-wide numbers to numbers that are applicable to different clinics, units, individuals, and how, how, they, could be, how they should behave. Uh, another section that we'll have um, talks about some of our interesting reporting options. So how do we think about uh, an hourly updated dashboard in the ED? How do we understand and control the flow there? Uh, support that we're doing for the ACR select program. And the one in the front there um, is a daily volume report about the work that was done yesterday, and it's always done in a running sum of the month against the budget for that month, so it's really a variance report on the business and how we can use that to try and better manage. And I put this one out there. Um, Dan O'Malley's gonna talk about UVA's data layer uh, on top of which all of what you see here uh, so far has been built. Uh, and it might not be rocket science, but it tends to be something that every health system that we visit with wants to spend a lot of time talking about why it's put together that way, how it's different than theirs, and the benefits that we each see. So I thought it would be interesting for this audience. This is a project, the Comet Monitoring Project, uh, really pioneered by Randall's group, and I think you'll all find that it's a really interesting combination of clinical analytics with a front end that's really made to communicate to the right people the right information and nothing else, right? Give them the message as quickly as possible. It's got some really nice uh, properties there. We have a couple of um, projects from our MITRE partners. So the FAST uh, project is really looking at trying to bring additional data to the evaluation of medical devices and, and help the FDA with that problem. And the CASE project, uh, which tries to look at, instead of trying to overcome the barriers with sharing data, what if we could leave all the data in place and instead share the analysis in a way that could be easily dropped down into new environments. And we also have a demo from our partners at VCU 
Uh, they're going to be showing a whole suite of dashboards that cover a range of topics uh, from the bedside to the boardroom, as they say. So I wanted to make sure that people had enough time to actually go and speak to the people in front of these demos, because I think that's where all the richness of the session comes from. So what we're going to do now is, I, I think they're all set up out there, um, but we're going to have our afternoon break. Uh, and as part of that, you should make sure to walk the room, talk to everybody, and then we're going to come back in here and we're going to have a group discussion thinking about our session tomorrow where we'll talk about partnerships that we could have and improving uh, care for Virginians. Thank you.